Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how to maintain weight loss once you've already lost the weight. You've already lost the weight and I'm sure that took hard work and dedication and I know you don't want to go back to where you started. So if you're interested in finding out the things that have helped me maintain losing over 50 pounds and keeping it off, then stay tuned. Before we get started, I just want to go ahead and introduce myself for anybody that is new here. Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Diamond Quinche. I am a lifestyle and fitness creator. And if you are returning to my channel, I really appreciate the love and support that you guys continue to show me. I've been creating content since 2015, but my channel has switched and shifted over the years. So right now, currently, I've been into the health and wellness journey and I did manage to lose over 50 pounds, which I've shared with you guys in previous videos and shared recipes, tips and tricks on how I was able to lose the weight in the first place this video will be very similar to that because a lot of the tips that i use to lose the weight in the first place are the same tips that i'm still using to this day to maintain the weight loss if you like this type of content of course give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram i also have a family blog channel and i will go ahead and link it down here if you want to follow that also if that's the type of content you're interested in behind the scenes of my life family time balancing motherhood fitness health and wellness being an entrepreneur all that good stuff behind the scenes of my life will be on my blog channel, DQ Lifestyle. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Okay, so you've already lost the weight. What do you do next to make sure you don't gain all the weight back? Big question. The short answer, of course, would be to do everything that you did to lose the weight in the first place. But the long answer to break it down, I'm going to break it down into three main points. And we're going to go ahead and get into that first point. The first point I will say is your mindset your mindset your mindset is going to be everything along this journey as long as you set it up in your mind that you're not going back to where you started that you're not ever getting back to that place it will take you far it will help you stay motivated it will help you get up on those days that you don't feel as motivated because you already said it in your mind that i'm not going back here i've already put in this hard work and dedication so let me go ahead and set it up in my mind that even when i don't feel like it let me just go do it anyway. In your mind, when you don't feel like doing something, you have to ask yourself a couple questions because I battled with this plenty of times before. When you tell yourself you're not going to do something that's going to help you accomplish a goal or you're not going to stay on task and do what you're supposed to do, you have to ask yourself, do I have a legitimate reason as to why I can't get this done? Am I sick? Am I overwhelmed? Am I stressed out? You have to pinpoint your exact emotion so you can decide how you're going to move forward. If it is something that's serious, that is mental, that is life-threatening, that is something that's telling you to give yourself a break, listen to your body. Listen to your body, don't overdo it. You don't wanna burn yourself out. But if none of those things that I just listed is on that list, do it anyway. Because what's gonna happen is you're going to feel so good in the end and you're gonna be so happy that you accomplished that task and you did what you had to do. When you don't stay on track and you decide, I'm not doing it because I don't feel like it, I promise you, immediately after, you will feel like shit. You will regret it. You will regret not doing what you said you were going to do. You will regret not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So go ahead and set it up in your mind that even when I don't feel like it, even when I'm not motivated, if something is genuinely not wrong with me, I'm going to do it anyways. So next up, I will say what has helped me maintain and keep the weight off is my eating habits. And I'm going to be totally honest. During the holidays, I pretty much lost my mind and I gained a, a couple pounds back. I actually gained over 10 pounds back. But once I realized like, no ma'am, we're not going back here. We're not doing this again. I'm able to just snap back into my routine as time goes on. But I may not be able to get back in the gym. There may be times where I can't get back in the gym, but what I am gonna snap back to doing is watching the things that I consume. Watching what I am consuming. That is going to be the main thing to even lose weight in the first place and that is gonna be the main thing to keep the weight off. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard losing weight and maintaining what weight loss is. 80% diet, 20% exercise, or 70% diet, 30% exercise. Either whichever combination you want to believe, you get the picture. That is absolutely true. You cannot out-train a bad diet. I don't know who told you you can, but you cannot. 
So if you can't let go of the burgers and the snacks and some of your favorite foods that you like to eat a lot of, then you're not ready to actually maintain losing the weight. Like you, you really have to let go of all those things. It is very easy to gain the weight back. After I've lost all of this weight, I realize how easy it is to just gain it all back. If I really was to sit here and put in no effort and not continue to work towards maintaining the, the weight that I have lost, I can gain it back way faster than what I did in the first place. I can gain it back way faster than what it took me to lose it. It may have took me about a year to lose the weight, but it's not going to take more than three, four, five months for you to get all that weight back on. Not only does food and the things that you consume control your physical health, it also controls your mental health and ultimately it will affect how you perform. If you're consuming junk, a whole bunch of junk food, a whole bunch of junk food, and then you're trying to go to the gym and work out, you're not going to perform as you would if you're consuming quality foods, healthier options. You're going to perform much better when your body is fueled with quality foods over junk food. All the things that you were eating when you gained the weight in the first place, you are not going to be able to perform properly in the gym to be able to continue to lose the weight and lose the weight. It's also important to not see food as good food and bad food because this will make you develop a horrible relationship with food. At one point in my journey, I would just eat something that I consider bad and I would just talk about myself. And it's like you're developing an unhealthy relationship with food and that's not even the point that we're trying to get to when we lose the weight in the first place. It's not that you can't eat those unhealthy options. It's not that you can't eat the things that you used to indulge in. The thing is you need to eat them in moderation. You need to make sure you're eating them way less. The amount of quality foods that you're consuming should always outweigh the unhealthy options that you are choosing. And the last tip that I would say that has helped me is by staying active. Have to stay active. You have to keep moving your body. Stay in the gym. Try new classes. Try new things. Be willing to grow and be willing to constantly learn new things. You're going to learn new workouts. You're going to learn new techniques. Try to take new classes. Try to push your body in ways that you've never pushed it before. But of course, by staying safe. Along with that, you really need to figure out your why. You need to figure out your why along this entire journey outside of physical appearance. A lot of times, especially us women, we just like, oh, I want to lose weight to be able to fit in this outfit. Or I just want to lose weight because of how I look. But it's like after a while, you're going to realize that you need to have more motivation outside of wanting to lose weight just for the physical appearance. And I'm not saying don't lose weight just for the physical appearance because we all want to look good. But you need to have more reasons outside of physical. I feel like you're going to fall off faster if you're only doing it for the looks and you're not going to maintain it because what's going to happen is you're going to get to where you want. You're going to look, start looking how you looking. You're going to start looking good and you're going to start feeling yourself and you're going to be able to fit in that outfit and guess what you're going to do? Okay, I can go back to doing what I was doing. So you have to come up with a deeper reason and a deeper connection with your health and wellness journey outside of just how you look on the outside. I'm doing this because I want to live a longer life. I'm doing this because I want to be stronger. I'm doing this because it's healthy for me. Like you have to have better reasons. You have to see health and wellness as a lifestyle and not just a chore. It's just like every day you wake up and brush your teeth. It's certain routines that you do every day. That is how you have to see your health and wellness journey. You cannot wake up and see it as, oh, this is just something I'm going to throw on my to-do list. This is just a chore. This is just a drag. You don't have to work out. You have to remember that. You get to work out. You don't have to do anything, but be grateful that you get to. A lot of those negative thoughts, you have to really learn how to turn them into positive affirmations. It's not, oh, I have to work out. I have to go to the gym. It's, I get to work out. I get to go to the gym. Some people can't even move their body. Some people are paralyzed. Some people are not even here on this earth anymore because they didn't take care of themselves. Some people can't afford a gym membership. Some people don't have a car to drive to even get to the gym. So just remember, you don't have to do anything. You get to do those things. So be grateful for the one body that you have, the one life that you have to live. And remember that you want to live a long, healthy life, especially if you have kids, you have a family to take care of, especially if you plan on 
having children, anything of that nature, regardless of what's the reason as to why you want to take care of yourself. It's important. It's a lifestyle. It's not an option. If you're looking for some motivation and inspiration on your journey, of course, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am also now a certified personal trainer, so I will be having programs releasing soon. And I also will be offering online training, online support for my girlies at home that can't get outside, can't get in person and they have a busy schedule, there will be an ebook, a 30 day lifestyle challenge that will be releasing this month. So stay tuned so you can get your hands on one and it will include actual workouts, actual tips, actual workout splits, meal ideas, all that good stuff will be included in this 30 day lifestyle challenge that I am going to be having very, very soon. So go ahead and stay tuned for the details on that. And thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask them down below. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.